la 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 my throat is all jacked up and I can't do all of that. I live in Houston, Texas, where my mask feel shit, okay? Um, the allergy is, I guess it's mold spur, they call it. They don't agree with me, okay? Jupiter don't fuck with me either. It's the Pisces moon. But hey, boo, hey, it's your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time to my channel. I cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because me, I'm going to do that. New subscribers, welcome to the family gang gang. We're a little dysfunctional, but we don't fight and fuss. We need that shit on other people's channel. We do cry sometimes. We cuss. We evolve. We enlighten. We share. We one big happy family around cheer. Returning subscribers, family. What's popping? Going down in the life of a mean old lie. Y'all ain't mean. Y'all too damn nice sometimes. But you know, y'all, until y'all do get mean, then you, then you must. You have some crazy mother. Mmm, y'all crazy, okay? But I'm an Aries, so, you know, y'all cra all crazy match one another, so it's all cool. I understand the fight, all right? This will be for my summer rather than, oh, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, you guys, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it in advance. I do humbly and graciously thank you guys for being a part of my family, for the love and the support. You guys, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. Um, Also, I currently have a reading special going on. $10, 10 minutes, one question, one answer, 25, 15 minutes, two questions, two answers, $50, 30 minute session up until May the 3rd. So definitely make sure you save your money and get you a reading in. I wanted to extend it because it stopped on the 29th, but I did extend it because it's full. This new moon i don't even know what the new moon is in but it's definitely it's it, i already feel the intensity of it so i'm I, i'm kind of um wanting to get these readings out before then okay as well as i'm working on doing personal readings in between so you guys hit me up right i'm not 100 percent booked y'all you have a reading with me before you know i don't allow myself to get booked. we hit i hit you up within 24 hours we're gonna we're gonna chop it up okay so um you guys this will be for my summer um uh, Sun, Moon, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of la 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 Leo for the month of May. Uh, it is general. It's not personal. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If you want a personal reading, that information can be found within the description, or you can go to the beautiful community tab and send me an email, and I'll tell you everything that you need to go uh, that you need to go about doing from there. Okay. So without further ado, let's get it. Cause us fire signs, we don't really like long intros. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the intuitive messages, you guys. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If that motherfucker shit was too small, it hurt. Don't try to make it fit, okay? So for my Leos, you guys had me working. Do you understand? I was like, oh, the spirit, all these messages for Leo. Sheesh. <laughs> Some of them are very uh, important though. You guys gotta let it go. You have successful entrepreneurship. You got moon cycles, trust issues, regroup, rest, recover, success, health issues, foundations, all new everything. Come on, Leo. Anxiety, compromise, awakening, protect your energy. Um, I don't know if I said health issues. Restoration, moving away, surrender, vision, telepathy, investments, transportation, stalker, dreams, trust yourself, diet change, reconnect, rapid movement, thief, fortune. Vision and telepathy and dreams with the bottom, okay? So if the intuitive messages definitely um, resonated with you, then this is definitely your reading. All right, let's rock. So I am doing things a bit differently this month. Um, I was I've literally been listening to spirit uh, when it comes to what cards I'm using and everything. You know, I was kind of pulled to use the Doreen Virtue um, Oracle Angel um, messages, so to deliver your spirit message as well as um, your angel messages for the month and put them into one. Okay. So the overall energy around the month, you guys got the Ace of Diamonds. So some of you all could definitely be having um be it's gonna be a very revelationist month for the sign of Leo. 
I definitely feel like some of you guys could be having dreams. Some of you guys could also be practicing the law of attraction, but some of you all are having past life recognition, especially with Pluto in retrograde right now currently. Some of you all may be, see, may, may be seeing synchronicities around different various types of white birds during the month of May. It's some type of, it, the, the white birds are coming in some form of, for one, messenger of protection, but also a messenger of confirmation. Um, whatever it is that you've been praying for, whatever it is that you've been waiting on, whatever it is that you've been waiting on signs from, uh, waiting on signs to see or hear back from, you will be hearing back from them, but the white bird is going to be very significant for some of you all. Some of you all um, also, some of you guys have some type of heart shock reunion that is going to be coming to focus during this time. I definitely feel like it's a situation that kind of caught you off guard completely. Some of you all just have to do some form of a collaboration, but it's going to test your patience as well as your trust issues, okay? Um, and there's a need for you guys to be receptive, to be open, to be more optimistic versus seeing the negative things that could happen first. Some of y'all got a badass crown chakra activation that is going to be occurring. I feel like this is for someone that's going to be a fresh awakening. I definitely feel like whoever, whomever I'm connecting with, or there's a few of y'all, whomever I'm connecting with with this energy here, I definitely feel like it's an energy of um, it's an energy of a fresh awakening. But you may feel as if you're being abandoned, or it feels um, like there's pretty much no one that you can kind of come to. And for some of you all, there's a fear of talking and reaching out to other people because you you, you fear that. Some of the shit that you're telling them, they think your ass crazy. They're going to try to lock your ass up, okay? For some of you all, um, I'm also hearing anniversary. So this could be around the anniversary uh, where someone actually did be released or uh, was released from some type of mental health um, facility due to some form of an awakening around the same time last year. For others of you, for others of you during this time, some of you guys may be a catalyst or you may be dealing with a catalytic situation that is going to free you up to move forward. It's like taking you to the next to the next um, level of your path. And some of you all, um, some of y'all may be actually focused on being some type or doing some type of healing work with the hands, transferring of energy. Some of you guys also during this time may be sitting on your truths. But because I definitely feel like it's it's if it's not you, this could be someone during this time you're really needing to um really not really question the intentions of others. Like everybody's not a bad person. But really trust what you felt the first time because when you overthink things, that's when shit just goes irrational with you. But some of you are you're getting it's like some form of divine help. Some of y'all may also have some type of earth earth angel encounter or could have had some type of earth angel encounter to bless you financially in like uh and like a, this is going to be a massive time in need. Like for some of you all, I'm also seeing some type of breakdown of the car. You need to, some of y'all need to rotate your to your tires or check your tires on your vehicles during this time. And some of you all uh, may be receiving completely new vehicles. For those of you who want to invest in the transportation, in the transportation in industry, um, the health industry, um, the remodeling construction industry. Anything having to do with homes, real estate, assets, um, stocks, investments. Um, for some of you all, this have to do with like Bitcoin or some sort of like crypto. Some of y'all are trying to start your own cryptocurrency. It's probably for one or two people. There's some type of partnership, and I feel like what where where the where the issue lies is the perception of the race. Okay. I definitely feel like I'm not going to call it a racist situation, but I'm going to call it. It's like, how does this person, when we have completely nothing in common, fall in my lap in the time of me, in the time of me needing this, because we understand that blessings can be sent from God, but not all of them. Okay. Um, some of them come as beautiful lies. Damn it. But there's a need for you guys to get all of the information up front before moving forward in any type of partnership, like reading over all of the fine print. Some of you guys are going to be hearing from someone who you haven't heard from in quite some time. This could, I'm hearing family, so this could be connected to some type of family dynamic when you really don't know how to move forward. You or this other person really don't know how to move forward in um, taking action towards the other person because for some of you guys, it's been so long since you've connected with this person. You or the other person have changed up so much. But I feel like this person is coming in with some type of, like, their intentions are pure, you guys. But the 
this person could have recently walked away, had a, went through some type of divorce or walked away from some type of relationship or some sort, but they are attached to a psychotic ass energy, a psycho psycho. And I'm not a judgmental person, but you might want to keep you a big ass bad in your car. Whoever this is for, because I do not promote violence, but I do not promote somebody, allowing somebody to run up on somebody and they know what you look like and you don't know what their ass look like because for some of y'all it's the situation. You know what somebody know what you look like and you don't know what they look like because somebody has been stalking. For some of you all, there's a need for you to change your passwords to your uh, social media accounts. Some of you guys, especially if you have an ex, Spirit, why do you put me out when you speak of business? Some of y'all have an ex that has uh, has some type of connection to IT. You could have wanted to invest or some type of uh, make some make some form of an investment with this person before, but maybe there was some sort of split. And this person is checking your emails, baby. They what they doing is they leaving it black, but they hitting the arrow button because I do it all the time when I ignore people. That they they checking the they 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 hitting the little arrow button and just reading that little first you know reading first lines and stuff. And so um you kind of gonna come to that aha, motherfucker. This is how you know it wasn't your intuition. It was your stalkerish. Get the fuck. Okay, so let's get into the angel messages. Some of you all, I mean, the first angel uh, message that you, okay, so I'll pause. Some of you all may be receiving, um, some of y'all may be receiving downloads during this time, but there's a need for you to actually act on the download. Don't like it's it's pointless for you to receive it and sit your ass there and think about all the woulda coulda shouldas later on when shit don't work in your favor or you seeing opportunities pass you by. Now you can take that how you want to because this could be you or someone in your energy. I'm hearing okay. This could also be some type of collaboration where one person is driven and motivated and the other person is damn a fucking couch potato. They spoiled as hell. Used to been given they whoever this is they've been given everything and so they don't know how to appreciate really they don't know the substance of truly working for something and investing and literally laying the groundwork and things for the, and watching the payoff this person just throw they they somebody who quit every week and because you love them so much you put up with their shit but during this time leo finna be speaking up no 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 you fire fire like you like last year fire sis bro like you fired well, you guys got a message uh from art andrew Razio. spiritual understanding I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you to understand spiritual truth. So that goes back to the alignment. Some of you guys may be practicing the law of attraction or some of y'all may be digging into like sigils um, or different types of ties to comedics, even when it comes to protection that you actually wear. Some of you guys are wanting to invest in uh, making some type of like healing, healing jewelry as well. It looks to be very abundant for you all. The next message that you guys got was life review. Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So I definitely feel like that's the energy of the restart, renew, regeneration, restore. Because for some of you all, you just had some type, you could have experienced some type of horrible ending or this ending could be coming into the beginning of May. But it's a well-needed ending because whomever the energy that you are attached to is something to do with alignment. You guys are no longer equally yoked, no longer spiritually agreed. The next message that you all got was compassion, Archangel Zadkiel. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Uh, for some of you all, this goes to the stalker situation. Some of you guys are going to be blindsided by this because this person came in. For some of y'all, some of y'all, this person intentions is good but for some of y'all even though this person's intentions is good there's this energy of i'm gonna win at all costs i'm gonna get what i want i'm a, I'm, I'm pretty much if it ain't beneficial it's artificial and this person only sees the benefit within themselves and so i definitely feel like because of that this person's karma is this motherfucker riding around uh everywhere that they go they ain't got no peace i'm hearing somebody possibly will have to quit their job due to some form of stalking or some type of like legality that has to be followed or restraining order that's needed. Some of y'all also may go experience something when you find out that the person that you deal with deal with somebody at your job. So you've been wondering why Keisha rolled her motherfucking eyes at you and Ash and, you know, um, switches your chair, even though she know you don't like that little bitty ass chain. You know it wasn't nobody but her ass because she do it all the time. Now you understand why Ash don't like your ass, okay? The next message that you guys got is clear. I'm sorry, it comes from Archangel Michael, my boy. Crystal clear intentions. 
Be clear about what you desire and focus on it with unwavering faith. Keep your eye on the prize. Foresight, baby. Fuck all that dumb shit. I only see what it is that I need to see that's going to propel me going forward. Okay? So let's get into it. Some of y'all also may be receiving messages from your ancestors during this time, like people who have passed over. Some of you guys have this very sad memory, like very sad energy for some of you all where you could possibly um, be missing like a grandparent or an aunt or um, a grand, um, or grandfather or uncle or someone like someone wasn't raised conventionally. And I feel like you're in this space of, you know, not knowing what to do. You know, it's kind of like I, I miss my father. Or I miss my grandmother. Or I miss my uncle. Or I miss my, you know, it's, 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 um, you needing to know that. Your loved ones in heaven are safe, and they're not going through anything that they were going through in this uh, in this heavenly realm. Our souls never die, baby. They just put me in work in a whole nother dimension, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Leos, someone rising Venus, as well as the cross watchers, in love for the month of May? What messages do you have for my beautiful? All right, what I tell y'all is, in the cycles. Some of you guys could be ending a cycle, okay? Some of you guys could also, I'm hearing renewal. So some of y'all could actually be renewing cycles in your life when it comes to love matters, when it comes to uh, business endeavors. Some of you guys uh, may be going through a transformative period. As soon as you try to end a cycle with somebody, then boom, you find out that you're breaking anybody's person. So there are some sort of boundaries that need to be set in order for you guys to move into a healthy cycle. Some of you guys could be ending a cycle with an Aries. Uh, uh, Ari. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries. Some of y'all, uh, this could be an Aquarius, a Leo, um, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. For some of you all, yeah, some of you all, you are going to be in this space of working on some type of, the focus of, for some of you all, is going to be working on some type of uh, soulmate relationship, putting in um, equal effort, movement, for, in order to uh, see the solution through movement forward. For some of you all, you're cutting off a soulmate because you're tired of putting in the effort single-handedly. Some of you guys are leaving a job due to some type of soulmate connection during the month of May. Some of y'all could have been dealing with... Um, Someone who you work with. And somebody at your, for those of you who are dealing with somebody at work, some of y'all could be dealing with someone who you work with. And this person, because they a hoe, they got you tied up and all twisted and tied up and all kind of knots. And you don't really know what these people did last summer. You just know that you worked for them from eight to five. Some of you guys are going to be giving some type of truth and, or receiving some type of truth and clarity regarding a commitment. For some of you all, this have to do with legal documents or um, court documents. For some of you all, this have to do with the Taurus. Some of y'all could also be, um, some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys could be in the cycle with a Leo or someone who you have children with. You want to focus on your finances, focus on your money, focus on spiritual abundance. Some of you guys are going to be, uh, some, there's an energy of exposure. Someone's getting exposed during this time. This could have to do with someone who you're in a commitment with. Maybe someone's coming to you, letting you know, hey, me and this person been, you know, hanging out, actually starting something solid. I thought we were starting something solid, then boom, I find out about you, okay? For some of you all, um, some of you guys, there's a, restoral of, a restoring of love, and some of you guys, there's a need for you to cut off something or someone or a situation that's toxic, because I feel like it's one-sided. Either you or another person is selfish, like you're seeing things from a one-sided perspective. Some of you guys... And some of you guys could have um some of you guys could have a cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like you are resisting this person, but there is some type of um perception shift or some type of information that's received. Some of y'all have a past life with this person. That's the intensity of the connection. There is a lot of love here, but there's also a lot of stubbornness, and I'm gonna show your ass type energy here. But some of you all, um, some of y'all some of you guys have been manifesting love, baby, in this harvest time. And some of you guys are going to be victorious and moving forward in love matters when it comes to dealing with an Aquarian person, especially if you and this person have um, talked about a lot of past issues. You, you guys are moving away from that. Somebody, some of y'all are cutting off somebody who is a fucking victim. Some of you all could be dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like the issue with this person as well is that instead of taking accountability, and this is that I'm going to show your ass energy. Instead of taking accountability, this person just points the damn finger. Why well, did that? Because you was talking to such and such and such and such. You know, some of you guys could also um, be moving away. From anyone's vibration that makes you feel less than, that makes you question your value, question your worth, that makes you feel as if you don't know which way to go. Some of y'all are having a hard time getting over past issues and hurts when it comes to dealing with the Taurus. 
And some of you guys, some of y'all have a telepathic connection with a Taurus or um, a Gemini Libra Aquarius or a water sign. Some of you all, um, some of y'all could be cutting off a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like for some of you all, and again, this could be someone who you have children with, but I definitely feel it has to do with someone who is very manipulative, someone who's very passionate, but they don't really use their passions in the right way. They use their passions to be a womanizer or a seductress or sedu a seductress or someone who really focuses again on their own benefit. Someone who's focused on their own independence, their own finances. However, I feel like the sex is damn good with this person. But outside of that, you don't see yourself growing anything with this person. So you need them to make a decision, okay? Some of you guys want to start something new, possibly with a fire sign. But I feel like this person, either you feel like, either you feel like this person is a bit cutting or somebody's afraid to be rejected. So they're just kind of like holding back on the offer. Like there's a sense of ego being here in a way. Some of you guys are going to victoriously move forward, okay? Some of y'all been manifesting uh, the love to be restored in a situation with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like you manifested that love, but understand that in the midst of manifesting, there has to be some self-work that's done on both ends. And I feel like one person has already done the work and the other person could just be focusing on doing the work or could just now be coming into doing the work, okay? But some of you guys are... Um, some of you guys are moving away from a third party uh, situation, cutting off, cutting off a third party situation. And some of y'all could be finding out as soon as you cut this third party situation off, that's having to do uh, with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, they could have left you out in the cold, then boom, we find out that you're pregnant. This is the T. Do you understand me? This is the T. But I definitely feel like the overall advice is to focus on your own fulfillment. Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of y'all dealing with Aries. Some of y'all dealing with another Leo. But I definitely feel like there are changes and it's kind of like divinely guided changes that are coming to some type of family dynamic. And for some of you all, it's coming to some form of a of a spiritual union, like someone is going to go through some type of mass awakening to gain some type of clarity or understanding of what exactly this union is and why it is so beneficial because for some of you all love as well as your business endeavors are tied together because in the past life some of you guys made some type of collaborative effort that wasn't able to totally get off the ground this could have also been in the past possibly with another person this could definitely be someone who you have a family dynamic with or who you see yourself having that stability with um for some of you all some of y'all been in y'all head about seeming disloyal about leaving work or leaving your job to start a business for yourself for what? Why are you stressing out and you still going to work putting that same put that same energy into yourself that you put into building somebody else's dream every day? Why are you feeling bad about somebody being disloyal? Or looking at you as being disloyal or undependable or you know, not because some of you guys there's a need for you to speak all of your truths and stand in that shit. Don't just say it but mean that shit during this time because you will be tested some of you all um again somebody's going to steal the beans when it comes to some type of commitment relationship some y'all could be dealing with the sign of Taurus, but somebody is going to steal the beans and this definitely has to do with someone wanting to work um either elsewhere this also has to do with someone either wanting to waiting for someone to leave some type of commitment and someone is expecting for Someone is expecting for this particular war or this particular incident to bring someone closer, but as a matter of fact, it does just the opposite and makes someone just really hate your fucking guts. I mean, um, I definitely feel this energy of what's done in the dark will definitely come into the light, but some of you guys are confused when it comes to making a decision to leave something or someone behind in order to have more because there's this fear of the unknown and there's this fear of... Um, Not being in control for some of you. Hmm. I do see you closing out cycles, though. Focusing on spiritual abundance, focusing on these damn pinnacles, focusing on entrepreneurships, investments. For some of you all, focusing on restoring family situations and love situations. For some, most of you all, I do see you being victorious. For those of you who are single, I do see you going to meet someone new, but it's possibly going to be after ending a cycle. Um, well, there wasn't any give and take. There was passion, but outside, when you got about the bed, you ain't even like that motherfucker. Period. 
Okay. I feel like some of you guys are re realizing we get along when we tumbling and rolling in them sheets, but when we stand back up on our feet, I, there's nothing that we connect on. I mean, and it's, and it's really a asking, spirit is really asking you to make a decision on do you see growth? Do you see your growth in your current situation? It's not about making a decision for another person, but for you, your Leo. That singular, selfish ass. We need that that when people be like, Leo's not selfish, y'all are very giving. But y'all are selfish. That's the ass that's that's a that's a beautiful and, and dark aspect of yourself. Just depends on how you use it. For some of you all, this could be on the receiving end. Someone could be closing out cycles with you because they just don't see it growing. They don't see um they're just tired of putting in a one sided effort. But yeah, for those of you who've been manifesting love, something new, I definitely see you're doing that singles, but it's going to be after completely, like shutting all the doors and locking all the damn windows. Um, we're possibly dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you, you're dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, another Leo. Some of y'all dealing with Cancer, but everybody fucking here. For those of you who are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like the energy of wanting to move forward is mutual. Whoever has been dealing with this air sign, this is not the new sign, the new person, but been dealing with that air sign. The energy of wanting to be single is mutual, but no one's saying anything. I definitely feel like there's some type of argument that's going to occur where both where someone says, well, fuck it, I don't want to be in this relationship anyway. The only reason why I'm here is because your ass need me financially. You ain't got nothing. Somebody going to say, bitch. And I definitely see you guys Cutting ways. Some of y'all gonna live y'all happily after after with that damn water sign that you're giving hell to. That's what you don't know. And that's what the spiritual understanding is about. All right? So this is what I have for my beautiful Leos for the month of May. You guys definitely hit me up for a personal reading. Um, if you need that, you guys, I will see you guys mid-month May. Peace, love, many blessings, and namaste, babies. Bye, y'all.